Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in our last session, so we discussed about a character data type briefly. So, now the two more concepts in a data types. So, what are the concepts means? First one, size of method or we can call it as a size of operator also and second one limits of each data type. So, these are the concepts. So, we are discussing in this session. First one size of function, it is predefined function just like a printf function and scanf function right size of function is a predefined function. Sir, what is the use of predefined function means? It returns the size of, it returns the size of different things. So, what are the different things? First one, we can pass variable, we can pass variable. Second one, we can pass data type third one we can pass expression, fourth one we can pass pointer, pointer. So, size of function is predefined and that will return the size of different types of things. A variable size it can return, a data type size it can return, expression size, pointer size and so on. So, if you want to find out the size of any data type right we can go for a size of function and so second one what is the limits of a data type what is the limits of data type means we have one header file header file is a limits dot h header file what is the header file name limits dot h header file limits dot h header file contains predefined variables n number of predefined variables are present, predefined variables are present and all these predefined variables are global variables. Sir, global variable means what? We can access anywhere, we can access from any C application, any C application. These variables are global variables and one more thing these variables are constant variables. Constant variables means we cannot modify these variable values. We cannot modify limits dot h header file contains n number of predefined variables. All these predefined variables are global variables. So, global variables means what? You can access anywhere in the application no limitations and these variables are constant variables no one can change the value. So, this is just theory right about a size of function and as well as a limits dot h header file. Now, we will see programs how to use a size of function and next one how to work with the limits dot h variables ok. So, first one how to work with the size of I am writing the program hash include stdio dot h. If you want to clear the screen, you can use a co nio dot h also. Right here it is we are writing the main function. I am declaring variables. One is a character variable, suppose c. Character variable is a c. Second one is a short type variable s I am using. Short type variable s. Now, I want to print the size of character printf size of character is. See generally observe, so what is the size? So, what is the size means? Size is representation is always in the form of integers. So, here it is always use a format specifier of type integer percentage d percentage d and what is the function we are using here it is a size of size of we are passing variable name. So, what is the variable name here c is a variable name what is the variable name c is a variable name of type what character data type. 
right. So, here it is simply we are passing the value c. So, what it will print? Right, first it will return the size of character. The size of character is a 1 byte. So, it will print that value 1 here. It will print the value 1 here. Sir, I want to print very clearly, write 1 byte. 1 byte means what? How to write? Okay, see. For example, here it is a percentage D. Here it is a byte, either 1 byte or more than 1 byte. So, we are writing write s in a parenthesis in a bytes and here it is a slash n and now here we are calling size of c we are calling size of c so how it executes the function is a size of c function we are calling first it will execute it will return the value 1 the 1 will go and store here 1 will go and store here so how it will print the value size of character is 1 byte and next it will send the control to next line and here it is in the same way for example i want to print size of short size of short it is also percentage d because size is always in integers it will send the control to next line slash n and next here it is a size of short what is that short variable? Yes. Sir, these two okay. Now, I want to print a size of float data type also. So, here printf size of float percentage d bytes slash n. But here, sir, whenever we are calling size of function, there is no variable of float type. Na? Float data type variable is not there no problem because already we discussed size of function is taking input a variable name or a second option data type also it is taking data type also. So, directly we can pass a data type is a float. So, size of float occupies a 4 bytes. So, here it will print the value 4 bytes size of float is a 4 bytes this is this is main function ok. So, using this program we are printing the size of each data type, but here it is we are using two ways size of function in the first way we are passing the variable directly and in the second way we are passing the data type directly either you can pass a variable or you can pass a data type because size of function is accepting any type of input expression you can pass pointer you can pass sir how to pass expression how to pass pointer that we will see in the coming concepts ok. So, here it is in this concept. So, we are calculating the size of each data type either by passing a variable or by passing data type ok. And next we will see how to print limits of each data type ok. So, what are the constant variables available in a limits dot h? I will show you first I will write here and then I will write the program ok. See here limits dot h library or limits dot h header file anything header file. So, contains so many a predefined constant variables global variables all these are global variables and of course, constant variables no one can modify. Sir, what are the variables sir? For example, short related variables, short related variables here it is s h r t min this is a signed short s h r t max s h r t max. So, for example, if it is an integer variable integer here it is int underscore min and next one int underscore max and next ones are long related variables long long underscore min and long underscore max sir for example character related variables char underscore max and char underscore min these are all are capital letters only. So, because in any programming language if you want to represent 
a constant well constant variable so mostly we are using a capital letters only all these variables are right signed type variables all these variables are belongs to signed type sir unsigned type unsigned type is here it is u s h r t max and here it is u i n t unsigned int max and here it is u unsigned long max and next one u unsigned char max these are sir only max variables are there so where is the minimum variable so here it is min variables are not present u s h r t min is not present not present sir why sir just observe right unsigned data type right limits nothing but range always starts with a zero so zero we can remember easily so that's why right they have given only unsigned max values only because minimum range of every unsigned data type starts with a zero that easily we can remember so that's why they didn't provide that info all these variables available in a limits dot h and all these are global variables so you can access anywhere in a c application and all these are constants so constants means what we cannot modify no one can change the value okay so first i will print a short min short max and unsigned short max okay how to print very simple a small program we are writing c we are including hash include stdio dot h and one important note here it is you must include another header file so that is what limits dot h header file we have to include limits dot h header file because we are using some of the variables which are related to limits dot h header file so you have to include that header file or else you will get error message that variable is not finding the symbol error okay now printing just in the main method main method i am printing printf printf and here it is a signed short min value signed short min value i want to print and next printf signed short max value signed short max value and next one printf printf here it is unsigned short max value min value we cannot print because variable is not there and of course the min value is a zero what is the min value zero and here it is signed short min value sir how can we print so value percentage d slash n slash n and here it is also percentage d slash n sir unsigned short what is the data type we have to use percentage u because it will print 65535 value it will print so to print the value 65535 we should go for percentage u it's not percentage d as or no right here we are printing s h r t underscore min value and here it is s h r t underscore max value and this is u has s h r t it's a max value max so this is a program so what it will print in place of s h r t min value right it will return the value in the output in the output it will print minus 32768 it will print minus 32768 we can print using percentage d so that's why we are using percentage d and next s h r t max value nothing but signed short max value it will return 32767 it will print and next one u s h r t max value it will return 65535 so this is the output of this program this is the way we need to print the limits of each data type no need to remember 
the limits of each data type if you are good at programming or if you are good at uh, write a limits dot h header file right just by writing one program right you can show or, or you can understand what are the limits of each data type instantly okay this is the advantage every data type limits available in a limits dot h header file as a global variables as a constants okay so this is all about a size of function and this is all about a limits dot h header files and this is the complete session about a character data types and integer data types float data types and all in the next session so we are going to discuss about uh, operators in c okay so thank you for all thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to naresh it channel